So um, it, this is interesting. Uh, you know, the, the Lebr- LeBron-Michael Jordan debate, you can criticize LeBron and it's okay. But boy, if you criticize Michael Jordan, whoa, 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 whoa. So it just makes headlines. And, and, and they're the two best basketball players I've ever seen. That doesn't mean they're the best at everything, but they're the two best basketball players I've ever seen. Magic Johnson's third. Magic just isn't as good in his prime as a defender as Michael Jordan, who was great, or LeBron, who was great. We even saw LeBron in this finals be a great defender. So Magic was never as good on the defensive end, which is only about 20 or 30% of basketball. It's mostly, a, you know, NBA's. Nobody stopped Kobe. Nobody stopped Michael. Nobody stops LeBron. There's no such thing as a Michael stopper, LeBron stopper, a, a Kobe stopper, a Kareem stopper. It, by the way, Bill Russell didn't stop Wilt Chamberlain either. I mean, he was the best defensive player. It's an offensive league that's 70, 75, or 80% of the game. But if you criticize Michael, watch out. And so uh, Club Shay Shay, it's very popular. Shannon Sharp's got a club. Um, tuxedos are required, Club Shay Shay. Had Isaiah Thomas on talking about the best players he ever faced when he played. Who would you say are the five toughest players that you've had to face? Again, you know, and, and you can just go by the winning records, right? <laughs> you know, right. Um, Magic, Kareem. Okay. Bird, Bird, Dr. J, and then I would say Jordan. Oh, well, Michael's not number one. Let me defend Isaiah Thomas on this. Now, there's a reason at a boxing match, you'll have three judges, and as Joy knows, they sit on different sides of the ring. Because you can see see things differently from your view. If you're on this side of the ring, you may see a lot of the fighters up close. The other side of the ring, you see a different fight. We've all watched fights, and one or two of the judges have a scorecard, and you're like, what fight did he watch? But we're watching on television with replays. He's down low. He could be on the wrong side of the ring and not have the same view of the fight. That's why they have three judges, and they don't just have one because fighters move around. They move toward their corners. And so from Isaiah Thomas's eyes, what is Michael Jordan? Well, let's just ask ourselves about basketball qualities that we admire. Broadly, is Michael Jordan the greatest winner of all time? Oh, no, 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 he's not. Bill Russell won 11 titles, Michael won six. Okay, okay, he's the best scorer of all time. Oh, no, 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 that's Kareem, who was not only the best scorer, but had the greatest single shot, the skyhook. Okay, well, they, Michael does more things well than everybody. No, 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 no. Even LeBron critics would acknowledge he's a better ball handler. He's a better rebounder. He's a better passer than Michael. LeBron does more things well. Well, then, 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 Michael elevates people more than anybody. Oh, God, no. Magic Johnson, everybody was great with Magic. That's why Magic went to 30% more finals than Michael Jordan. Well, he's the ultimate Iron Man. He's like Cal Ripken. He never missed a... He quit twice. He was a great basketball player, perhaps the greatest ever. But in Isaiah Thomas's eyes... When Isaiah Thomas faced Michael Jordan in his prime with his Pistons, Michael couldn't beat him. Michael couldn't beat him. By the way, he couldn't beat the Celtics either. And I've always said, there's two facts about Michael. It's almost sacrilegious to bring these up, but they're both facts. When James Worthy and Michael were teammates at North Carolina, they won a championship. When James Worthy left for the pros, Michael stuck around. The following year, Michael's college basketball team with Dean Smith, (laughs) it wasn't the best in state. North Carolina State won the title. He didn't even have the best college basketball team in state, Michael. And then he went to the NBA, and do you know how many playoff series he won without Pippen? For our radio audience, the answer is a bagel. Those are facts. Michael won a title. When he had Dean Smith and Phil, he didn't win with a lot of coaches. He didn't win with a lot of players. When he had a Hall of Fame number two and a Hall of Fame coach, he won. The following year, he went eight years without winning. He had a bunch of good players. He had a bunch of quality coaches who won games. These are facts. And the fact is, Michael's not the greatest scorer ever. He didn't have the best shot ever. When he left, the Bulls were still very good. 57 wins to 55. When LeBron leaves teams, they disintegrate. But one thing that Jordan had, and to a higher level than anybody of my life, 
Michael was not only great, he was the best looking, he was the most glamorous, and he had the greatest shoe campaign, which still resonates today. We moved off Joe Montana. Remember, Joe Montana was four Super Bowls. He was four for four. Jordan's six for six. That's always the argument. But we moved off Joe Montana in a heartbeat when Brady won his fifth. In a heartbeat. Why? Because Joe Montana, like Jordan, was good looking and glamorous. They're both good looking dudes. They're, they're both glamorous guys. But Montana didn't have the Nike bulletproof shield which deflects that likability. As I always said that about Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan was the most liked president ever. Wasn't the best necessarily, but he was so charming and likable, even his rivals liked him. His rivals wouldn't take shots at him. Any criticism, he once joked about bombing Russia. We all were like, oh, it's just Reagan. It's so funny. Nobody else could get along. JFK couldn't have done that. Clinton couldn't have done that. You know, Bushes couldn't have done that is that we moved off Joe Montana in a heartbeat. Four for four, perfect in the Super Bowl, three MVPs. The minute Brady got his fifth, even though Brady lost a couple, because Montana didn't have the shield protecting him. I think Michael and LeBron are the two best basketball players ever. Argue what you want. But I can go five and six and seven categories. He's not the greatest scorer. He's not the greatest winner. He didn't elevate teammates like Magic. He's not an Iron Man like LeBron. He, he, he didn't do more things well than everybody. He's just a great basketball player that when he got a Robin and when he got Phil Jackson, he was hard to beat. But I'll argue this. He never beat a great dynasty in the finals. He beat the Pistons and the Celtics when they got old and the Lakers in the West when they got old. You can say that. It's okay. In Isaiah's worldview, when he was in his prime and the Pistons were in their prime, Michael was just a super athletic guy that scored a bunch of points but didn't make anybody around him better. That's what he was. That's what he saw. It's like the boxing judge watches the fight from one angle, you watch it from another. That guy's crazy. No, he has a different view of it. And Isaiah's view, and I know it's petty, but Michael's just as petty. LeBron can be petty. Magic can be petty. They're all petty. In his view, you can make an argument. Jordan was just maybe the greatest scorer, but maybe not the greatest player. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.